Hi everyone! In this educational video about Scratch, we're going to learn how to create an interactive presentation where you will be able to organize all your content, all the things you are learning. This one is going to be about the forms of energy. I'm only going to classify three forms of energy. There are plenty of them, but it would take a very long time. And in this video, I just want to show you how that has to be done. So there's no point in making a very long video, okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. First of all, let's delete the cat and I'm going to create the three objects with the three types of energy, the three forms of energy. So we're going to paint here. Let's take the rectangle tool. Let's enter it. Now text, change the color of your text, uh, well, maybe black and let's write chemical energy. Let's write here as well, chemical for the sprite name. And now with right click duplicate, I'm gonna make the others. So it's gonna be electrical. And finally, so. Now that we have these three sprites, we're gonna create the backdrops. We need four backdrops. One's gonna be the main backdrop where we're gonna have the three forms of energy. And we need one more backdrop for each form of energy so that when we click on chemical energy, for example, we go to the chemical energy backdrop and so on. So let's go to backdrops, backdrops. Uh, this one is the, the main one. But if you want, we can color it. Let's add a square here and let's change colors. This, for example, wait a second, here it is, and now three more backdrops. I have downloaded the backdrops from Pixabay, so I'm going to import them, I'm going to upload them to, to Scratch. So here we can upload a backdrop, uh, let's begin with chemical energy, if you see it doesn't fit the screen, if it doesn't fill it, you can select it and enlarge it okay that's perfect another one that's cool so now we have to configure it the main block the key block in this program is gonna be this one when backdrop switches to so, we're going to begin this way. Um, here, for example, in the backdrops, I'm going to put when green flag clicked, we're going to switch backdrop to main, to the main backdrop. And now, I go to chemical and we put when backdrop switches to main backdrop, this is going to show. And this is going to be done also in electrical and in thermal, because when we go to the main backdrop, we want to see these three sprites. But we're going to be changing to different backdrops. For example, when we click on chemical energy, we want to go to the chemical energy backdrop. So when this sprite clicked, you see that I'm in chemical, we're going to switch, uh, not costume, backdrop to chemical energy. So when we click here, we go to chemical energy. Obviously, when we go to chemical energy, we don't want to see these three sprites. So we have to tell them that here in chemical, when backdrop switches to, as you see, we're using this block again, when backdrop switches to chemical energy, we are going to hide. This is also going to happen in electrical and in thermal. Let's see now. I click here. Cool. I cannot see them. I go back and I see them. And I have to do the same with the other ones. When I click on electrical energy, so when this sprite clicked, we want to switch back up to electrical energy. But again, we see these three. So when backdrop switches to electrical energy, we need to hide 
this one electrical but also chemical and thermal and I'm going to quickly do the same in the thermal energy so as you see it works perfectly something we could do is go to backdrops and put a title here so I'm gonna do it on the on the backdrop right and now I'm missing something when I click on chemical energy uh, instead of clicking on the green flag to go back we could put here an arrow that takes us to the main page so uh, I'm gonna choose a sprite from the sprites library and I'm gonna take this arrow in costumes we take the arrow 1b which is the one pointed to the to the left we're gonna put it here and now let's code it let's go to code uh, obviously, when sorry, when backdrop switches to main, we have to hide it, and when backdrop switches to chemical, we show it, as well as with oops sorry, as well as with um, electrical and thermal. That way here we cannot see it, and here we see it. And now, obviously, when the sprite clicked, switch back up to main. So, when the sprite clicked, we have to switch back up to main. And now, that works. Okay? And what are you missing, guys? Obviously, the information about chemical energy, thermal energy, and electrical energy. So, let's make it. I'm gonna make some sprites. In this sprite, I'm gonna make a box. Obviously, it has to be lighter. Now let's make an outline. So this is gonna be the box with the information. Text, and let's write. So this one is gonna be chemical energy. So that's the information about chemical. We can code it because obviously we don't want it to be here. So when um, backdrop switches to main, we hide it. And when backdrop switches to chemical, show. Let's see. Cool, that's perfect. So now let's duplicate, let's call it um, electrical info costumes, we change this info. And let's change the code, basically we only have to change this, when backdrop switches to electrical energy is when it has to show. Uh, let's duplicate one more time and let's make the same with thermal. And that would be finished. Chemical energy, we see the information about chemical energy. We go back, electrical energy, some information. Let's place it here. And thermal energy, this information. Obviously this presentation is too simple and now I'm going to give you some ideas to animate this presentation, make it much more attractive and appealing, all right? So, first of all, uh, what about uh, when we put, when we place the cursor on these objects, they grow in size a little bit. That's easy. Let's go to chemical. And here, when backdrop switches to main and it shows, we can do this forever. If touching mouse pointer, it's gonna set size to 110 for example and else set size to 100 and it's this simple guys let's do the same in electrical energy and here 
and let's do the same in thermal. When we pass the blocks to the other sprite, as we've been doing before, uh, they usually pile up. That's why I have to, to move them to find the block I, I was looking for, okay? So, well, uh, well, click, and as you see, that works. More ideas, for example, when I click on chemical energy, I want these to, like, zoom in, to grow. So, let's go here, and when it shows, well, before it shows, it's gonna set size to 0%. And now, gradually, it's gonna increase uh, its size. So, we're gonna repeat 20 times, change size by 5. And obviously, you guys know that 20 times 5 equals 100. So, after this, the final size is gonna be more or less the same. It is not the same because we cannot set size to 0. Uh, as you see, the minimum size we can set it to is 3, so in the end, it, end, it ends up having uh, 103, but well, more, or less, more or less is the same as 100, okay? So, let's pass this to the others, as we've done before. It's here, so well, let's get rid of it and put it here, and the same. Let's see if it works. It does. Okay, that's cool. Another idea, for example, when uh, we go back to the main page, instead of having these three sprites here, they could fly in from right. Uh, like, a, I don't know, like an animation. So, uh, before they show, or well, uh, yeah, before they show, I'm gonna send this to, uh, this is gonna be in the right side. So, uh, wait a second. I'm going to separate this so that I can click on it and it doesn't take me to the to the other one. Okay, the furthest right uh, position is 336. So, I can put it back here. Before it shows, this is gonna go to uh, X 336. Now it is in x negative 56. So this is going to glide in 0 0.5 seconds to this position. Let's see. Okay. That's cool. Uh, but wait a second, it should be here which is Y36, so Y36, let's see now, okay, so now we have to do the same here and here, let's go to electrical energy, electrical energy is in X10, Y, negative 40, let's say, so the beginning, it's gonna go to, let me check, yeah, it was 336, X, the horizontal axis, and negative 39 and then it's going to glide in 0 0.5 seconds to x10 y negative 39 perfect and let's do the same with thermal energy that's finished we can go there and go back. All right, and finally, I'm going to add three more sprites, one per per form of energy. Uh, for example, here I'm gonna put a dish with some food, which is gonna be growing and shrinking very slowly. Okay, it's gonna be like floating here. So uh, let's take a a dish with some healthy food. This fruit platter. Let's move it here. And now, this one is gonna do this. Obviously, when backdrop switches to main, backdrop, we're gonna hide it. And, oops, we're gonna show it when backdrop switches to chemical. What is this gonna do? This is gonna be um, 
growing and shrinking repeatedly. So it's gonna grow very, very, very slowly. So change size by 0.5 and then change size by negative 0.5. Uh, obviously at the beginning we're gonna set size to 100 and we're going to repeat this forever so this is gonna be doing this maybe 20 times okay that's cool or even 25 when we go back it hides we go there and that's working maybe 20 and 20 Yes, that's better. Okay, uh, and here in electrical energy, I'm gonna take a ray or a lightning bolt. This one, for example. So that's gonna be there, and this is gonna be here. And say same code, okay? When backdrop switches to main, we hide it. And when backdrop switches to um, electrical energy, the same program we've put here. But if I can... Could I? No, I couldn't. Sometimes it, it moves, I don't know why. But well, let's create it, that's not a problem. That's cool. And one more. I'm gonna upload it, because I have it here, it is a lighter. In this case, the size is gonna be uh, 50 because 100 is too much. Thermal energy, this is gonna be there. And heal the lighter. And same code. Remember to set size to 50 if you have a, an object whose size you've modified, which is 50, the, the normal size you want. And here we have our presentation. Let's let's set set full size, full screen. Here we have the information. We go back, electrical energy with the information in the lightning bolt, thermal energy with this information in the lighter. So as you see, it is very cool. It is a very interesting project. It is very useful to organize your information any type of information, any type of content. It doesn't have to be natural science, it can be any subject, all right? So, well, I hope you use your creativity to improve it, to make it better, to add other types of animations. And if you feel like, you can share your projects with me because I I would be very, very happy to, to see them. So that's all for today, guys. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.